This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. Father, we just come before your holy throne. We ask that you forgive us of our sins we have committed against you and against your creation. Father, I ask for now according to your word in Psalm 34, verse 7, that you can your angels around all of us participating of this broadcast, around our loved ones, family members, ministry partners, in-laws, ex-in-laws, and friends, to protect us and keep us safe from any form of retaliation or attacks of the devil and his demons. And we declare Isaiah 54, 17, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. And welcome everyone to another live edition of our live deliverance prayers. Amen. Today we are hosting a special broadcast. We are actually starting early. You know, in the day, right now it's uh, 1.40, you know, in California, you know, Pacific time, you know, in some other places, you know, like uh, the East Coast, it's uh, a little over, you know, it, it's a little over four o'clock. So anyways, uh, like I said, this is a special broadcast on deliverance. I'm going to be opening up here a line for us to talk in case. Some of you have questions, okay? You can call me on my phone. Praise God, hallelujah. I'm just going to wait a little longer here for more people to join us. Then I'm going to open up the line so people can call. If you have any question regarding deliverance, if you have any question regarding deliverance, not politics, not, okay, not, not uh, the election. If you have any question regarding deliverance, and you don't know the answer, you have questions, then I'm going to open up my phone line so you can call me right here. We're going to talk right here. Praise God. I've done this before some five years ago. Praise God. Hallelujah. Also, today I, I have my camera on, which is not a fancy one. Okay. So, but anyways, you can still see me, can't you? Right? You know, that's better than not seeing you at all. Praise God. Hallelujah. So I'm going to encourage you guys to, you know, stay here. You know, it's going to, I don't know for how long we're going to stay here, but you know, we are going to drive out demons. We are going to break curse. We're going to break witchcraft. Amen. Praise God. I'm going to command your demons to come out. Praise God. That's why we come here live now daily. You know, at daily. You know, for the most part, we are here at 5 p.m. Pacific time from Monday through Friday. But today, Saturday, today, we have a special broadcast going on, and I'll explain more in details in a little while here. Amen? But right now, we're going to quote some scriptures. This is about deliverance. And then, if you have any question for me, amen, I'll be opening up my phone line here on my cell phone. You can call me. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. So let's quote some scriptures here, okay? I'm going to quote Psalm, you know, uh, uh, Psalm 103. Let's start with that one, Psalm 103. Amen? Only the first five verses. The Bible says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. 
Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from destruction, who crowns you with love and kindness and tender mercies, who satisfies your mouth with good things, so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. So this is only five verses that we quoted from Psalm 103, but these are promises from God to us. Okay, amen. The Bible says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all, forget not all his benefits. What are his benefits? Who forgives all your iniquities. Amen. Who heals all your diseases. Who redeems your life from destruction. Amen. Praise God. He forgives us of our sins, right? We are constantly committing sins. God forgives us of our sins, right? And then he heals all our diseases. It says all of them. If God doesn't heal your disease, no doctor can. Okay, medical science cannot. Okay, if you get healed from coronavirus, okay, give thanks to God. Praise his holy name because he's the one that healed you, not medical science. Sometimes he can use the hands of doctors too. Why not? Amen. And, and, and also it says, you know, who redeems your life from destruction. How many times we feel like we are facing some kind of destruction, right? That is coming our way. Amen. So that, but you know, how many drug addicts, you know, they, 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 they go heavily into drugs and then later on they, you know, they repent, they, they want to get clean. Well, they were facing some kind of destruction, but the Bible says that, you know, he delivers you from all destruction. He redeems you from destruction. He is the one that redeems us from destruction, right? And then he satisfies our mouth with good things so that our youth is renewed like the eagles. Amen. Listen. God is a God of promises too. Okay, his love, amen. He is kind, merciful, amen. But he also, you know, he also, you know, like the Bible says there, you know, he also forgives us of our sins, redeems us of, you know, from destruction and heals us from all our diseases, amen. God is love. God is merciful. Praise God. That's why we ought to believe and confess his promises. Because his promises are for today. Psalm 103, those promises are for today. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. So I'm running a little test here, you know, opening up this broadcast earlier than normal. You know, but today's Saturday. A lot of people are partying, dancing with the devil, right? Have you ever heard of that? You know? Dancing with the devil. Well, Saturday, you know, the day that they're suppo supposed to praise God, to honor God, they go out to nightclubs to dance with the devil, right? Unfortunately, some people choose to go that way, you know, only to get beat up by their lover, right? You know, by the one that they love, Satan, right? But that's okay. That's okay. This broadcast is also being recorded. And it's going to be available on YouTube. You know, if people are not able to join us live, they can always, you know, go to YouTube and watch this video there. Praise God. If any of you have questions there, okay, I am opening up my line here. And you can call me if you like to. Amen. And ask me questions regarding deliverance. Put your brain to work right now. Do you have any question regarding deliverance? Amen. Praise God. Dima possession right? Curses. Any question, then, you know, keep, keep, keep waiting there for a couple of minutes, then you're going to be able to call me, and then I'm going to do my very best to answer according to my knowledge and understanding. Amen? Also, folks, just to let you know, we do ministry full-time on YouTube, also elsewhere. We have our spiritual warfare strategic network, 
Amen. Where we drive out demons every single day from our members, several times a day. Amen. Uh, every day, right? From Monday through Monday, every day. Amen. From Monday through Sunday, right? So uh, we have our ministry going. I've been on YouTube since 2007. Amen. I was the first one that recorded video driving out demons from the viewers. Okay. So, amen. And today, even to, to this day, people watch those old videos. Praise God. And demons jump out of them. Amen. That's why I'm here. So we have our full-time ministry here on YouTube, also on Facebook. Also, I meet people regularly on the phone, in person, whenever I can. So uh, today we are running a fundraising you know, broadcast. This broadcast is a fundraising broadcast. I'm going to ask you to prayerfully honor God through this ministry. And don't go anywhere. We're going to drive out demons here. Okay, don't go anywhere. We're going to break witchcraft here. Don't go anywhere. Amen. But you can make a donation anytime you like. Okay, so you can go below this video, you know, where we are right now on YouTube, of course. We have our donation links there. I'm going to ask you, okay, to please prayerfully consider supporting our ministry. We are, folks, not many people are like me. Not many people drive out demons from people every single day. Believe me, they don't. They don't want to mess with the devil. They are afraid of the devil. They don't mind doing a light prayer for, for their family members. But for people like you, you know, in your family, they don't want to touch. Well, I do. It's a calling. That's why we have our spiritual warfare, strategic prayer network going. You know, where you can go to my web website, brothercarlos.com. is right there in the center of the, the video, right there. You can go there and sign up yourself and your family. It's so easy. Okay, and then we're going to cover you in prayer. Amen. Drive out demons from you and your family every single day. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. You know, that's what we do. So I'm going to, we, we, I'm going to quote other scriptures here. Then we're going to drive out demons. And then I'm going to open up the line for you to call if you have any question regarding deliverance. Amen. So we're going to quote other scriptures here. But please prayerfully consider donating. You know, what you can, the best you can, honor God through our ministry. Amen. Today and tomorrow, we're going to be running a special broadcast like this one. Amen. And believe me, we are here to drive out demons. We are here to break witchcraft. We are here to put demons to run. Amen. Amen. I don't know how long I'm going to stay here. You guys can come and go as you please. But you know. If I, if I can stay here for an hour or two, I will stay here for an hour or two. Amen? Because we have a mission. Amen? What is our mission? Drive out demons. Put demons to run. Educate people regarding deliverance, regarding, you know, uh, 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 the spiritual realm, regarding Satan's kingdom. That's why I'm here, folks. This is Brother Carlos, by the way. Amen? If you don't know me, this is your first time here. I've been doing this for 35 years, folks. I've been knocking out devils for, for, for 35 years, okay? And I do it with joy in my heart. I'm not afraid of them. Amen? So um, let me quote some other scriptures here. Psalm 34. I also like Psalm 34. I, I usually quote it often. Psalm uh, 34. Only the first five verses, okay? It says like this. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make its boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear of it and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Amen. Praise God. Psalm 34. Beautiful psalm. Okay. Also Psalm 91. Let's recite Psalm 91 right now. Okay. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the fallow snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover with His feathers and under His wings you find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, 
nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you make the most high your dwelling, even the Lord who is my refuge, then no harm will befall you, no disaster will come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands so you cannot strike your foot against a stone. You will tread upon the lion and the cobra. You trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Amen. This is Psalm 91, a psalm full of promises. Amen. Amen. But we must dwell in the secret place of the Most High. Amen. So we can, you know, enjoy the promises of Psalm 91. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm going to quote another one here from Isaiah chapter 40. I love this part. Isaiah 40, verses from uh, 28 to 31. This is what the Bible says. Have you not known? Have you not heard? The everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, neither faints nor is weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the weak and to those who have no might. He increases his strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary and the young man shall utterly fall. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. Amen. These are promises of God for today, folks. Okay? You don't have to, to be living your life miserably, you know, in pain, 24 hours a day in pain. Come on. Come on. Do you call yourself a Christian? Oh, and you are dealing with pain 24-7? Come on, something is not right. Because that's not what the Bible offers us. Okay, the Bible offers us healing. Okay, deliverance. We ought to walk in good health. Amen. And spiritually sound. Right? We should all have a sound mind, right? Amen. Because we say we follow Christ. Amen. That's why we have this broadcast here on a daily basis. Amen. We are here helping people as much as we can. We are here driving out demons as much as we can in order to help people like yourself and like your family. Amen. Because Netflix will not drive out of demons from you. They'll put more demons in you. Okay. Amen. Be careful with what you're watching on YouTube. Okay. Some of the videos there can put demons in you in a heartbeat. Be careful, folks. Okay? When you have a spiritual problem, go to the Bible. Go to the New Testament. See how Jesus dealt with demons. Learn from it. Amen? All right, let's drive out some devils right now. Amen? Then I'll come up with, another, with some other announcements, and then I'm going to open the line for phone calls if you feel like calling me. Okay? Not everybody likes to call me. Amen? But that's okay. If you have a question regarding deliverance, and you like to have some answers, then call me. I will do my very best. Amen? Let's put some demons to run right now, shall we? The Bible says in the book of Luke, chapter 10, verse 19, I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy and not to harm you. Come out, evil spirits. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I command you now to get out of everyone participating with me right now in this hour. I command you now to go straight to the abyss. I command you now to go straight to the abyss. I command you now to take your nasty, dirty hands off of them. Come out, evil spirits. Come out, sickness, disease, and infirmity. Come out, depression, mental illness, schizophrenia, anxiety. Go now to the pit. Fear, come out and go to the pit. Come out now. In Jesus' mighty name, come out now. Sickness, disease, infirmity, get out now and go straight to the abyss in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
come out pain, come out chronic pain, come out arthritis, fibromyalgia, come out now migraine headache. I command you now to go straight to the abyss. Get out now. Come out now. Come out now and go straight to the abyss. In Jesus' mighty name, come out. In Jesus' mighty name, come out. Take a deep breath right now, three times only. Three times, come out. Come out, evil spirits, come out. Come out, evil spirits, come out. Come out, evil spirits, come out. The Bible says in the book of Luke chapter 10, verse 19, verse 19 I have given you authority to trample on your snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy and nothing will harm you. Come out, evil spirits. Go straight to the abyss now. Go straight to the abyss now. I command you now to take your nasty, dirty hands off everyone participating with me right now. In this hour, go now to the abyss. Go now to the pit. Get out of their homes. Lose their money, lose their finances. Lose their belongings. Get out of their vehicles and automobile and transportations. Get out. In Jesus' mighty name, get out. Get out of their pets for those who own pets. Get out of them. In Jesus' mighty name. Get out. Come out. Come out pain. Come out sickness. Come out disease. Go now to the abyss. Get out now. In Jesus' mighty name. Get out now. In Jesus' mighty name. Now I want you to pray a prayer with me. Okay. Before we continue driving out demons. I want you to say like this. Father in heaven. I forgive. Everyone that has ever hurt me one way or another. I forgive them. I bless them. No, say, I forgive them. I love them. I bless them. And I pray for them. Bless them, Father. Now, Father, I ask you that you forgive me of all my sins as I have forgiven those who have trespassed against me. Say, Amen. Come out, evil spirits. Get out of our visitors right now. Get out of everyone participating with me right now in this prayer line right now. In this hour. Get out of them. Go now to the pit. Go now to the pit. Go now to the pit. Go now to the abyss. I command you now to go straight to the abyss. I command you now to come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Go now to the abyss. Come out. Go now to the abyss. Come out anger, come out rage, come out hatred. Come out now bitterness and resentment. Come out unforgiveness. Go now to the abyss. Come out now. Evil spirits come out. In Jesus' mighty name, I am commanding you to come out. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Okay. We're going to come back and drive out more demons here. But right now. That's my cell phone number. If you have any question, okay, call me on that number right now. Okay, and we're going to talk here. People may hear you. Okay, amen. They will not see your phone number, but they may hear what you're saying. Okay, amen. If you have any question concerning deliverance, demon possession, curses, witchcraft, anything related to that, give me a call. If you don't want to call, that's fine. Okay, but remember, we are live right now. If you watch this video later on, don't call me. Okay, amen. Praise God. So, uh, uh, because I don't want people calling me in the middle of the night. Amen. Did you write that down? Okay, then if you have any question, right now we are live. I can talk to you. But if you call me three, four hours after this hour, you know, right now it's 1.30 in California, Pacific time. 4.30 in the East Coast, okay, on this Saturday, amen, uh, September 28th, okay, if you watch this video on Monday, don't call me on that number to ask questions because we, we will not be live, right now we are live, anybody like to call me, did you write, write down the number, okay, then call me, otherwise, you don't have to call me, amen, I will just give you uh, one minute, if you like to call me, go ahead. If not, that's okay. Amen. If you don't have any questions, you already know everything. You've been watching the guys on YouTube that don't even know how to cast out demons. They drive out Jezebel. All right, then I know you don't, you don't know. I know you still have questions, but you know, 
Praise God. Hallelujah. Folks, let me say this. Okay, I am running this special broadcast, okay, as a fundraising for our ministry. Okay, in order for us to stay in ministry, I must raise funds, okay, which is legal, which is biblical. Amen. The Bible says, ask and it will be given to you. Amen. Jesus' ministry had a money bag. So we need money. The Bible says those who preach the gospel live by the gospel. So I'm doing that. Okay, I need your help. Praise God. Man. I don't know if I understand. I don't know if, I, if I'm going to understand your accent. Honestly. I don't know if I can understand your accent. So ask me the question, but I don't know if I can understand your accent. Because uh, I, I have a hard time understanding Australians. UK people. So what's your first name? Okay, what is your question? If you dream about that, people, all the time, it has to do with your culture, okay? This, you know, dreams, they, they, they follow you since childhood, right? You start dreaming when you are a child. So if, you're, if you have a pattern of dreaming, like some people, they call me and they say, well, I'm constantly eating in my dreams. Well, then you like food. Then you are addicted to food. That's why. So if you're always thinking about that people, you're going to dream about that people. Okay, if you have gotten involved in some kind of witchcraft in the past, then yes, those things can be related to that. So what I would do is, you know, keep casting out your demons. It's, it seems like, you know, if you keep dreaming about dead people and these dead people are coming to your dreams, you know, it, it might be demons, you know, you know, pretending to be dead people. You know, they can do that too. So what is the remedy? Well, I used to have nightmares a lot myself. I, I drove out all those demons. Today, I rarely have a nightmare. I mean, it's, it's like once every five years, maybe. Okay, why? Because those demons left me. So, you know, if you are constantly dreaming, dreaming about dead people, cast the demons out. Cast them out. It's not those dead people that are visiting you. Those are evil spirits. You know, cast them out. Be strong in the Lord. Okay, put them to run in the name of Jesus. You got to do your part. Stop going to the prophets. Uh, stop going to the prophets because thinking that they can cast out demons from you. No, they cannot. They can put more confusion in you. Demons have to be cast out. If you have been dreaming about dead people and that is tormenting you, you know, so cast it out. I don't. I don't dream, dream about dead people. Once in a while, I dream about my mother who's already passed away, but that's like once every two to three years. So it's not, a, it's not something that bothers me. But if you're constantly dreaming about dead people, you, you, you need deliverance. Something is not right with your life. Okay? You need deliverance. So, you know, if, if something that, that, you know, it can be anything. For example, some people, they dream that they are, being killed, you know, like a gunshot. That, that, that's what they dream. Well, then I know that our demons trying to kill them. I tell them, cast them out. That's the spirit of death or murder spirit. Cast it out. Do you know how to say demons come out of me? Get out of me nightmares in Jesus name. Then say it. It's not that complicated to drive them out. I already drove out nightmares from me because I used to have nightmares all the time. You know, some 30 years ago. Not anymore. That's what I, I know. That's what I can say, sister. Amen. How's the weather there in Austria? How's the weather in Austria? 
Code, okay. All right, sister, I hope I answer your question, okay? That's the best I can say. Cast the demons out. If you are being tormented by demons, if these dreams are being caused by evil spirits, cast them out. Cast them out. Jesus said, drive them out, right? All right, sister, today's our uh, fundraising ministry. I mean, a yeah, broadcast. We need to raise some funds. Please consider sowing something to help us out, okay? God bless you now, sister. God bless you now. God bless you. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Bye. All right. I get calls all the time. People say, Brother Carlos, I keep dreaming about eating food. Well, you're addicted to eating. You, you, you have problem with, you know, eating disorder. Cast them out. Cast them out. Okay. Any other person like to call me? Okay. So if not, we're going to drive out more demons here. Today is our fundraising broadcast. I'm going to ask you to please prayerfully honor God through our calling and ministry. I would like to stay in ministry to help people out. Okay, but we need to raise support. If I'm not able to raise support, I'm going to do something else. Then I'm going to have to drop the, the ministry. That, unfortunately, you know, I've been dragging this ministry for a, for a while. Okay, I need help in order to keep helping people. Okay, I need help. Please prayerfully consider sowing a financial seed below this video. Okay, or you can go straight to the one of those if you are in the US. If you are elsewhere, PayPal. Okay, our PayPal is below this video on YouTube. Amen. Praise God. Let's drive out more demons here, shall we? Let's break witchcraft right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I now break all witchcraft, voodoo, black magic, hexes, vexes, word, curse, and evil eye, envy, jealousy of everyone participating with me in this hour. In Jesus' mighty name, of their homes, of their family members as well. In Jesus' mighty name, evil spirits, go now to the pit. Come out now, you demons propagating witchcraft. Carry on witchcraft around. In Jesus' mighty name, get out. Come out, come out, get out, get out, come out. In Jesus' mighty name, in Jesus' mighty name, in Jesus' mighty name, I command you now to go straight to the abyss. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. The more your demons are cast out, the less demons you have, the better. The freer you're going to be, the healthier you're going to be, the happier you're going to be. Amen. Evil spirits have to be cast out. That's why Jesus went around healing all who were oppressed of the devil. Jesus went around driving out demons and healing the sick. Why? Because evil spirits are real and they are everywhere. Tormenting people everywhere, including you, and they are right there in your home. They are right, they like to hang out in your home, by the way. Okay? Are you going to do anything about it? Well, if you stick with Brother Carlos, then yes, eventually those demons will flee from you. Amen. Amen. Put, you know, I'll be brought, I'll be finishing this broadcast shortly, and we are gonna come back at 5 p.m. like I normally do. 5 p.m. Pacific. 8 p.m. Eastern Time, right? That's one schedule that we already have for our broadcast. So I just came up with this one here, you know, only to let you guys know, okay, we need, we are doing a fundraising for our ministry. We need to raise funds, please. Also, I'm going to say this to you, okay? We run a, a, a network called the Spiritual Warfare Strategic Prayer Network. What is that that we do? We put Dimas to run every single day, okay, all day long, on behalf of those who have signed up, on behalf of their fam family members as well. It's so easy to sign up to become a member of our Spiritual Warfare Strategic Prayer Network. Amen? All you have to do is go to BrotherCarlos.com, the website right there in the center of the video. Go to the website, which is also listed below in the video. And pick and choose, you know, the length of membership you like to join. Keep in mind, okay, we are doing what others are not. 
We put Dimash to run every single day. We break witchcraft every single day on behalf of our members and on behalf of their family members. More power to you when you have a network like ours standing in the gap for you. More power to you. More power to your family. Okay, and less problems, right? Demons are destroying everywhere. Everywhere you, you hear about this destruction. Those people are not covered. That's why they fall flat to the ground whenever demons show up in their homes. They get sick, they get disease, they get heart attack, they get, you know, stroke. They are not protected. They don't have any network putting demons to run on their behalf. They say, well, I have Jesus. Well, Jesus never said that he was going to spend your life, spend, okay, your life, the length of your life driving out demons from you. That is not found in the Bible. He told us to do it for one another. It's our job to do it. Not his job to drive out demons from you. It's not his job. It's our job. That's why he said, go into all the world and preach the good news to all creation. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Whoever does not believe will be condemned. And these signs will follow those who believe. In my name, they will drive out demons. Amen. Hallelujah. All right, friends, come back at 5 p.m. I'm going to ask right now, as we are finishing this early part of our broadcast, we are coming back at 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern Time with another broadcast. Okay. Amen. And I'll, I'm going to have the camera there as well. This camera is not the top, line, top of the line one, but you know, at least you can see me, can't you? Amen. Praise God. Better than not see me. So I'm going to ask right now to go below this video and make a donation to help us, okay? This is our fundraising, you know, broadcast. Amen. Do it and God will honor you. God will bless you. Let me pray a final prayer right now. We'll be good to go. Father, I ask right now that you seal this deliverance and that you fill every empty spot vacated by unclean spirits with the presence of the Holy Spirit in everyone's bodies, minds, souls, and spirit. Amen. Today is Saturday, okay, so come back at 5 p.m. Pacific Time, Eastern, I mean, uh, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, amen, for another round here. We're going to drive out more evil spirits, amen, and I'll be opening the line for calls if you like to call me, amen. God bless you now, okay, and have a wonderful day. Bye.